Hello friends, this video coding section part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched coding section part 1 to part 9. Here we have to find the equation of ellipse whose vertices are plus minus 13 comma 0 and foci are plus minus 5 comma 0. We know foci is always plus minus c comma 0 and the vertices are always plus minus a comma 0. This we know. That means c is equal to 5 and a is equal to 30. b we know is root of a square minus c square that is root of 13 square minus 5 square correct so this comes out to be root of 169 minus 25 that is root of 144 and that is 12. so b is equal to 12. now since we know that the vertices, the foci, if you see, is on the x axis because this is 0, this is plus 5, this is minus 5, and this is the equation. Since the foci is, is on the x axis, so the equation is of this form x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to. Had the foci of been of this form, that is 0, comma plus 5 and 0 comma minus 5 if we have got in this form this is not a correct ellipse this form then in that case the equation would have been in this form x square by b square plus y square by a square is equal to 1 but in this case in our case the foci is of this form that is plus minus 5 comma 0 this form this is our equation now I will just put the values of a and b that is x square by 13 square plus y square by b square that is 12 square is equal to 1 or x square by 169 plus y square by 144 is equal to 1. So what we have done here we have just found the value of b and then based on the foci the foci was in x axis so we concluded that our ellipse is of this form not of this form and we have written the equation of this form is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and got the answer. Here we have to find the equation of ellipse whose length of major axis is 20 that is 2a is equal to 20 or a is equal to 10. Also the foci are 0 comma plus minus 5 that is 0 comma this foci is always of the form 0 comma plus minus c so we can say that c is equal to 5. We can find b, b is equal to a square minus c square that is root of 10 square minus 5 square that is root of 100 minus 25 that is root of 75 that is 5 root 5. Now since we know that the foci is on the y axis if you see this foci So if you see the foci, this is 0, comma plus c and this is 0, comma plus c. This is the foci is in the y-axis, our ellipse is of this form. Correct? So the for this form, the equation is x square by b square plus y square by a square is equal to 1. Please note, this is the equation form for this case. So now we'll put the value of b and a that is x square by b square is 75 plus y square by a square is 100 is equal to 1 and that is the equation of the very simple we found a b c and a b and c and then we observed the foci so from our foci we could make out that since the foci was in y axis we could make out that the equation is of the form x square by b square plus y square by a square is equal to 1 and we have got the in this question, we have to find the equation of lips whose major axis is along x axis and that passes through 4, 3 and minus 1, 4. So if you see the equation, the equation of ellipse is of this form x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Correct? And now we are told that these points, I'll draw the ellipse first. Let's suppose the ellipse. We are told that 4, 3 
and minus 1 comma 4 this values passes through the ellipse and we have to prove it to so find the value of uh, find the equation of ellipse so first we'll put 4 comma 3 so what we get is 4 square by a square plus 3 square by b square is equal to 1 this is our equation 1 and when we put minus 1 comma 4 we get 1 square by a square plus 4 square by b square that is equal to 1 so we have two equation 4 square by a square plus this is uh, y is 3 3 square by b square is equal to 1 and 1 square by a square plus 4 square by b square is equal to so let's say 1 by a square is equal to, let's suppose 1 by a square is equal to capital A and 1 by b square is equal to capital A. So what we get here is 4 square is equal to 16 capital A plus 9 capital B is equal to 1 and this I get A plus 16 capital B is equal to 1. Correct? Now let me solve this equation. Let me multiply this equation by 16 this is by 16 so what this equation is 16a plus 9b is equal to 1 this I get 16a plus 16 into 16 256b is equal to 1 we we'll subtract this what we get is 247 b is equal to 16 minus 1 is 15. So what we get is b is equal to 15 by 247. Similarly we will put a value of a here. a plus 16 into b is equal to 1 or a is equal to 1 minus 16 b is equal to 1 minus 16 into 15 by 247 and that comes out to be 7 by 247 so b we have got a we have got so the equation is of this form x square by 247 by 7 plus y square by 247 by 15 is equal to 1 or we get 7x square by 247 plus 15y square by 247 is equal to 1. This is the equation of the ellipse. Correct? What we have done here is we have this equation x square plus x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and we know that minus 1 comma 4 and 4 comma 3 satisfies this equation we have put this values and we have got the thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again